Welcome to Yogaya Postnatal Routine Cherish and Accept. This routine is designed for moms who had a natural delivery. It is absolutely safe, but make sure you practice it only six weeks after your birthing experience. If you experience any pain or discomfort while practicing, stop immediately and consult with your doctor. I am in the postnatal, postpartum journey myself right now. I gave birth four months ago, and I was amazed at how my yoga practice helped me deal with the postpartum depression, helped me deal with emergency situations that arose, and also not get so much frustrated with my body image, and I love the act of motherhood. And most importantly, I regained my faith and I was able to follow my baby's lead and we teamed up and I found out that I could be a great mom just by practicing every day and reconnecting to myself and realigning to my baby's needs. So I would love to share this experience with you. And we will do some toning exercises to shape the body up and also some stimulation of the hormones so that you feel calm and secure in your own self. And most importantly, so that you gain pleasure again from being who you are and love your body and yourself as it is because it's beautiful and because now you're a mother goddess and you have to love it and cherish it and accept every stage as it comes along as it's beautiful and very rewarding. So let's start. We will start with some Kegels exercises all the way down on the mat. Taking this first exercise to roll down one vertebra at a time as you create more space in your lower back. So we're trying to extend the lumbar spine as much as we can. We'll need it in these abdominal exercises that will come next. Slowly roll down, shoulders away from the ears. Drag your heels close to your sit bones. Plant your feet into the floor. Make sure your knees drag over the ankles. Place your hands into your adductors, the inner thigh muscles. As you inhale, splay your knees open. As you exhale, lift your head, neck, and chest. Contract your lower abdomen. Hold here and tighten the muscle of your bladder. Your sphincter moves in. Hold your breath. Lift a little higher. And then inhale. Open the knees out. Relax your head, neck, chest. Exhale. Contract. And inhale, open. And exhale, contract. Make sure each time you're tightening your bladder, you're drawing it in. Relax your shoulders. And inhale again. Make sure your neck is relaxed. Exhale, slowly. Tighten the bladder and hold here. Inhale, two more times. Open up and exhale. Lift, tighten the muscles of the bladder. Engage your pelvis and release. Last time, open up. Release and exhale, contract again. Tighten everything and release. Good. Open your arms to the side. Relax your head. Drop it left and right. Open your right knee out. Lift your foot off the mat. Lift your chest off the mat and grab on to the outside edge of the right foot with your left hand. Draw the ankle close to your belly. Contract here and twist 
And as you do that, extend your left leg alongside your mat, your heel flexed to the front edge of the mat. Hold your right chin with your right hand. Lift up, inhale, and exhale. Relax your head, inhale, lift a little higher. And exhale. Take one more breath here. As you exhale, carry your left leg to the side. Slowly keep your foot flexed. There you go. Let your thigh touch your shin. And exhale, curl in one more time. Relax your neck, inhale, gaze to your left elbow. Exhale, now try bending your left knee. Keep your foot flexed. Go a little more into the contraction. Inhale. Good. Either stay here or bring your elbow crease towards the outside edge of the foot. Clasp your hands. Hold here and contract or extend your leg to the side and contract. Go as deep as you can in the contraction. Feeling your IT band stretching while your abdominals are being toned. Take one more breath and release. Bring your left foot to the mat. Bring your chest to the mat. Relax your head. Gently rock your hips. And now carry your right foot all the way to the other side of your mat. Plant it firmly. Roll onto the side of your waist. Hold your knee with your hand. Extend the left leg all the way up. And now peel the foot off the floor. Flex both feet. Exhale, contract. Your elbows are in one line. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your left leg just a notch higher and drop it down inhale lift hold and exhale now bring your right foot to the floor press your right hand to the mat and lift yourself up halfway plant your left forearm so it's in line with the back of your mat now hold and grab onto your thigh. Draw the knee a little closer. And again, lift your left leg up. Breathe here. And exhale. If you feel comfortable, you can clasp the hands again. There they are. Flex your foot. Lift the shin so it's parallel to your thigh. And hold here. Twist. And one more breath. Good. Press through the wrist, ankle to knee. Bring your left hand behind your seat. Drag your left heel in and swing the legs all the way to the other side. Uncurl your left foot. Drop your left chin and clasp the outside edge of the right foot with the left hand. Hold it here. Press your right hand into the floor. And now lift your pelvic floor. Exhale, contract. Inhale, breathe. Exhale, contract. Go a little deeper. Inhale, breathe. And exhale, release. Walk your hand way back behind you. Stretch your leg. Now to find the stretch in your upper back, open your shoulder. Twist your gaze over the left shoulder. Keep your foot flexed. Inhale, your right knee is bent. Exhale. If you feel super bendy, you can work towards stretching the knee out. But most probably you'll be sore after giving birth, so let's uh, hold it here and 
keep on twisting, opening the shoulder, gently arching your spine. And release the ankle back into the knee, hands behind you. Rock the pelvis all the way to the other side, right foot plants into the floor. Right hand moves into the inside of the right foot. The left hand is parallel to the right. Lift the pelvic floor and exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, hold, exhale, release. Let's do it one more time. Press the hands into the floor. Lift your pelvis. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale and exit. And inhale and exhale. Lower the sit bone down. Reach your arm over the head and behind your hips. Plant your left foot into the floor. And now extend your right leg out. Reach your torso to your thigh. Hold here, clasp opposite elbows and slide the forearm down. As you keep your right foot flexed, cave your spine. Breathe here, relax your neck. And one more time. Bring your right hand to the mat. Grab the outside edge of the right foot with the left hand again. Now press your right hand into the outside edge of the mat and lift the pelvic floor one more time. Just a tiny lift. And exhale. Good, stretch here, let's do it one more time. If this is a little too much and you feel the hamstrings are a little constricted, bend the knee. We'll do exactly the same with the knee bend. Press the hand into the floor, lift the pelvic floor, and hold. Great for toning your thigh muscles, your abs, strengthening your arms. Three in one, lower down. Drop your ankle into the top of the foot. Now press your right hand into the floor. Move into the metatarsal of your left foot and expand outwards, reaching your left arm into the ceiling or the sky. Breathe here. Bring the hands to the sides and then to the top of the mat. Extend your right foot forward. Step your left foot back. Come into a high lunge. Square your hips. Clasp your hands. The left and the right hand meet. And now open your left shoulder by dropping your right elbow down. Bend your right knee. Breathe, open your chest with your head. Push your forearm back. And one more breath here. Now anchor your heel down. Dial your back foot slightly in. Walk your front foot so that the front heel intersects with the back arch. Once you're here, bend your right knee and Extend your elbows, stretching your arms in the direction of your back foot. Straighten the front knee. Open the shoulder. Rotate your torso front. And now bend the front knee. Take a little bit of a back bend. Your ribs are in. Your mid-back is opening. One more breath. Bend the front knee more. Swing the arms, cartwheel them all the way down. Step your right foot back into down dog. Walk your hands in reposition. Bend the right knee and the left knee. Now drop the knees 
into the mat. Keep a little space there. Exhale, contract your belly. Your right knee will lift higher. Hold it here, hovering in plank with knees bent and back into down dog, rest your legs. Breathe here. Feel the traction between your arms and the legs, your spine elongating. Come back to the center, bend your knees and twist to the left. The left knee will hike up, gaze under your left armpit. One more breath. And come back to the center. Drop the knees down. Uncurl the toes. Bring your forearms into a dolphin clasp, fisting your hands and wrapping your right hand around the left. Curl the toes under. Walk your legs back. Come into a forearm plank. And once you're there, press the right ball of the foot firmly into the floor. Walk that foot slightly towards the center and then bring your left knee into the crease of your right. Start to twist into a side flamingo pose, feeling your right abdominals engaging. Breathe here. Lift slightly up. Press your foot into your thigh. Hold here. Hovering pigeon and release into a pigeon. Rest here in pigeon pose. One more twist, threading the right arm through over to the left knee. Press your right hand into the left thigh, your left hand into your sacrum and twist your gaze back. With each breath, lengthen your spine, inhale and exhale, contract and swirl back. Inhale, a little bit more, and exhale. As you bend your right knee, clasp the right foot with your left hand, press the floor away, and lift yourself up. Gently rock from left to right, just to open up the hips a little bit more. And once you have this Open the shoulder by flexing your foot and moving the toes to the back of the mat. Either stay here and feel the shoulder stretch or press your right hand into your thigh. Open a little bit more. Breathe, gaze over your right shoulder. Open, inhale, or stay here. One more breath. Good, exhale. Lift your back knee. Hold your foot with your right hand. Gently tip. Exhale, left hand to the floor. Transition into half of a diamond pose, planting your right foot in. As you press your left hand into your knee and then your right hand into the right knee, gently lift your pelvic floor and twist your body. So you're stretching the Achilles here, and at the same time, you're working the abdominals again. Lift your chest and twist more. And lift. And twist. Last time, inhale. And exhale, release. Come back to the center, knees in. Flex your feet. Roll down one vertebra at a time and we'll do everything on the other side without the Kegels exercises. Slowly roll down. Plant your feet into the floor. Knees tracking over the ankles. Open your left knee out. Lift the left foot off the floor. Clasp 
the outside edge of your left foot with the right hand. Once you have that, flex the foot and move the toes towards the back edge of the mat. This is your first stage. Exhale your chest into the shin. Extend your right leg out alongside the mat. Hold here. Place your left hand onto your shin and exhale, contract. Inhale, lift your right leg slightly up. Exhale, contract a little deeper. Inhale, lift. As you next exhale, take your right leg to the side. The knee moves into the back of the calf. And exhale, contract. If you feel comfortable here, you may want to bring the outside edge of the foot into the elbow crease and clasp the hands into a yin and yang vine and twist here, or stay as you were. Bend, now bend the right knee just a teeny bit. Hold it here, lift the pelvic floor. Contract the abdominal. One more breath. And exhale. Bring the right foot back into the mat or the floor. Gently roll onto your spine. Relax the head right and left. Relax the next muscles. And then left foot plants into the floor. We crawl up, hugging the left knee and extending the right leg. Lift the right leg to tone the adductors. Hold it here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. You can clasp the thigh. And again, take your yin and yang vine. Lift the right leg a little bit more. And exhale. Release the left foot back into the floor. Gently prop yourself and lift halfway through, holding here, clasping the hands around the shin. Lift the leg a little higher and down. And one more time. Lift, hold, contract, extend at the same time and out. Ankle to knee, heel back into the floor. Drop the left knee into the floor this time. Uncurl the right foot. Clasp the outside edge of the left foot. Plant your left hand. Once you have this, you're going to draw the ankle in and lift the pelvic floor. Contract. We're moving the chest into our left thigh and gazing at the back palm. One more breath. And release. Let's do it one more time. Press the hand back into the floor. Lift the pelvic floor. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Contract. Twist. Exhale. Beautiful. Now, once we're here, we're going to work towards opening the shoulder. So the left knee will move further into the mat as we open the whole shoulder girdle all the way to the lower back. Feel you're in one line from the wrist to the elbow to the shoulder. Your gaze is over the right shoulder. If you feel supple enough, you can work towards extending this left knee out and stretching deeper or just stay and enjoy this stretch here. One more breath. Open up. And exhale. Drop the ankle to the knee. Again, press the heel back into the floor. Go all the way to the other side. Plant your left foot down. Bring the left hand to the inside of the left foot. Right hand mirrors the left. Slightly out. Lift the pelvic floor. Exhale, bend your elbows. And drop down, inhale, rest. 
Lengthen your spine, exhale. All actions in one. Press the foot down, press through your hands, lift the pelvic floor and contract. Now bend your elbows just a tiny bit. And all the way down. Reach your left arm up and behind you. Ankle to knee again, cradle the hips. This time, extend your left leg out. Hold your right thigh, interlace opposite elbows. Exhale, curl in as you flex your left foot. Inhale. Hug your thigh tighter and exhale. And one more time, inhale. Exhale. Reach your right hand to the outside of the left foot. If this is too much, bend your left knee. Press your left hand into the floor. Just like we did it on the other side. Lift the pelvic floor while you're pressing through the right foot. Or extend the leg. Twist, 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 and lift. And one more time. Bend the knee, lift off, either here or press. Lower your hips down. Bring your sole to the inner edge of the foot. Push your knee with your right hand and then press your left hand into your other knee and twist, opening the hips just a little bit, and gently cradle all the way to the other side. Now lift the pelvic floor just a little bit so that you feel the left Achilles opening, press the hands into the knees, lift up, push away. One more breath, hands to the floor. Send your right leg back. Come into a high lunge. Find your high lunge. We're gonna stretch the other shoulder, clasping the hands into yin and yang. Opening the right side, dropping the left elbow. Press your heel into the back edge of the mat as you bend the front knee. Push your forearm with your back head open here. And one more breath. Now anchor your right heel down. Dial the foot slightly in. Heel toe your front foot so that the front heel aligns with the back arch. Bend your front knee, contract and extend your elbows, and straighten, rotate your chest back to the front, bend the front knee, open your heart, press the outside edge of your back foot in. And exhale, cartwheel your arms to frame your left foot. Plant your hands and take your down dog. Breathing here from right to left, freestyle, just finding your alignment and down dog. Shift forward into a plank, lower the knees down, uncurl the feet. Come into your dolphin clasp. This time bend your right fist and hug it with your left palm. Walk your legs back to the back edge of the mat. Come into forearm plank, hold here. Bring your left foot into the center. Press into the ball of the foot. Right knee into the left crease. Exhale, contract and twist, as if your big toe wants to touch the floor. 
Hold it here. One more breath. Good, lift up. Dolphin pose, press your right foot into your left thigh. Hold it here. And lower down through the shin. Pigeon pose. Press the hands into the mat. Readjust here. Take a moment to cradle from left to right. And once you have this, thread your left arm through over to the right. Bring your left hand to your right thigh, your right hand to the sacrum, and twist your gaze back. You can curl your back foot under or you can release it. Whatever feels better, the curling will bring more power into your leg and engage your thigh muscles. The curl under and release will just allow you to twist more. Your choice, deep in the breath. And one more breath. As you press your left hand back into the floor, reach for the left foot with your right hand. Open your shoulder, either stay here or go a little higher. Left hand to the right knee, open here. Twist your gaze the other way over your left shoulder or stay here. Plugging your groin down, squaring the hips, flexing the back foot and opening the right shoulder. Exhale, heel to the seat. Transfer the weight onto your right thigh, tilt slightly to the side, clasp your left top of the foot. If the clasp is too much, you can stay here and just transition, bringing the right knee in. If you clasp your foot, lift up and use the tilt to transition you back down. Feet together, readjust your hips, flex your feet and roll all the way down, one vertebra at a time. Opening up the lumbar spine, shoulders away from the ears all the way down. Bring the knees into the chest this time. Take yogi toe lock with your middle and index finger. Happy baby, your thumbs point outwards. Lift your head, neck, and chest. Flex your heels and push the ceiling away. Relax your shoulders. Lift one more and exhale. Hold your inner thighs. Plug your hands into the creases of your hips and then lengthen your lower back while you shoot your head in the opposite direction. And exhale, inhale. Lengthen. Exhale, release, open your mouth. Inhale one more time. And exhale. Good. We're going to take Shavasana in this position as the lower back will be sore and tender after birth. So hook your pinkies together, press your thumbs, and bend all the other six fingers into a fist. Hard opening mudra. Plug it into your navel. Relax your elbows to the sides. Close your eyes. Allow gratitude to well up into your heart and to sweep through every cell of your body. You are overflowing with delight for the gift that you were bestowed with. Breathe into this delight. Allow yourself to be awestruck. No matter how your birthing experience unfolded. And open up to learn from your baby. As you breathe in, suspend all attachment and all expectations 
of how you want things to be. Instead, accept every challenging moment as an opportunity to tune to your baby's needs. Then take time to celebrate the new you. Love your postnatal body as you recognize that it has been a source of life. All the cells are throbbing with wonder and you are observing the hormonal changes without resentment or impatience. You're now learning the lesson of patience and testing the power of acceptance. Accept things as they come and as they go. You are no longer trying to force things one way or the other. You are just allowing everything to unfold naturally as you follow your baby's lead. Experience your body as a well of nourishment, your mind as a space for insight and inspiration, your heart as a source of unconditional love. Bathe your baby and yourself in this light and send it out to the world, cherishing the gift of divine motherhood and accepting every challenge as an opportunity to mature, to grow, to expand and to connect. As you grow, the world will accept your gift and bless your life mission. As you grow, your baby will unfurl its wings and fly. Fly to its fullest and most beautiful self as you learn to cherish and accept. Cherish your baby. Accept the energy from the earth beneath you and draw one last breath in. As you reconnect to the earth, open the mudra up to the sky. Cup the sky with your hands. And exhale, pour that energy that you attracted from the sky through your practice into your head, gently stroking your head and bringing the energy through your throat, heart, solar plexus, navel, perineum, all the way to the floor. Press the hands into the floor, hold your buttocks, bend your elbows, lift your head, Use your abdominals and come up to sit for the closing. Inhale your arms to the sides. Open up to this moment, cherishing every stage of motherhood and accepting every moment as an opportunity to connect deeper to your baby, to align yourself to your baby's needs, and to open up to your divine motherly potential. Open your eyes.